Fred Guttenberg, his daughter Jamie, was killed in the February 2018 shooting in Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Since then, he has been fighting for gun reform in our country. Fred, thank you for uh, your time. You know, I I, I, when we're seeing these pictures, Fred, you know, of Ralph, of Washington, of mm -hmm. little girls, the cheerleaders, the girls in the Sweet mm -hmm. 16 party, boys in Sweet 16 parties. And, and it's like, Fred, why is this happening more and more? Yeah. Listen, we should all be angry, sad, horrified, and upset. But, Jose, I haven't talked to you now for about five years. Yep. And I've been warning that this is where we're headed. Um, none of this is surprising to me. When you go back to when Jamie was killed in 2018, there were 300 million weapons in America. When you fast forward to today, there's 400 million plus ghost guns. But let me cut that one more way. When Jamie was born 20 years ago in 2003, there were 200 million weapons in America. And at that time, AR-15s were about 1.5% of weapons sold. Today, they're about 25% of weapons sold. America has been conned. We were told lies by a lobby that told everyone, more guns makes you safer. The problem is there was no requirement for safety along the way. And we now have guns in the hands of far too many people who shouldn't have them. And making a mistake in America is now deadly. It's the American carnage that I write about. It's deadly now. It's, it's. You know, just listening to the numbers you're 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 giving us is it's just my question is so all right, Fred. With that reality, what do you think can, could, or should be done? Yeah, well, and, and that is the question. I think first things first, stop listening to the liars, and stop giving the legislators who, unfortunately. Um, are connected to the lobby that put us in this place, any say in this matter. There's a lot we can do, Jose. Um, the Safer Communities Act was a really great start, but that's all that it is. Red flag laws should be the law of this land. We need to know that anyone who's a risk to themselves or someone else, that there's a due process in place to ensure they don't have weapons. We need universal background checks without loopholes. And I would say not just on guns, but let's pass Jamie's law and put that on ammunition as well. Because the truth is, with 400 million weapons in America, much of that is in the hands of people who shouldn't have them. So let's pass background checks on ammunition as well. There is so much we could do that the majority of America agrees with. The majority, over 75% of America agrees with this. Stop letting a minority of legislators hold our safety hostage. And Fred, I just want to, you know, and we were talking about it in the, in the, in the meeting this morning with uh, my extraordinary staff that I'm privileged to work with, that uh, a few things. One is that we're seeing that in, in these recent cases, it's been long weapons, but it's also been handguns. And, and, and sure. so, you know, uh, there's that issue. And then, and then Fred, I, I also kind of was looking forward to, to the opportunity that I always take a very much as a privilege to speak with you, because I, I want you to talk to the, the Guttenbergs of 2023. You know, and I think about those, that, that young uh, child that knocked on a door going to pick up his siblings and by miracle he's you know he got shot in the head and in the chest and, and, and ralph and and yet there are these precious young people who who didn't survive and there were you know cheerleaders and and people with dreams and aspirations and i mean just so fred what do you say to the parents of those kids well you know listen there was another shooting in the past week also in alabama at a party um mm -hmm. where people did die and i've actually been messaging with one of those fathers um and i tell them to hang on that each day second by second minute by minute 
you will go forward and you will be forever changed, but you will go forward and you will find a path. Um, but for now, most immediately, be around those who you love and who love you and focus on nothing else. Fred, thank you. I say it to you every single time, but the, the word thank you is, is little compared to what I want to, you know, we're grateful to uh, your words. And I, 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 you know, we will never forget your daughter and those that lost their lives and Marjorie Stoneman and, and, and in every single case. Fred, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you.